A five-member technical team from Guyana has successfully completed the infrastructure for the National Agriculture, Innovation and Technology Center, marking a significant step forward in St. Lucia's drive for agricultural modernization. The project, a product of the collaboration between the Government of St. Lucia and Guyana for Agricultural Technology Adaptation and Innovation, features two tunnel greenhouses equipped with a nutrient film technique hydroponic system. The initiative is set to revolutionize St. Lucia's agricultural sector by integrating sustainable practices with cutting-edge hydroponic technology. The system offers a more efficient approach to farming, particularly beneficial in combating challenges posed by the dry season. Hydroponics reduces water and fertilizer waste while ensuring optimal crop growth, making it an environmental friendly and cost-effective alternative to traditional farming. The hydroponic system, an ideal solution for farmers with limited land space, allowing them to maximize productivity in small areas. With the completion of this facility, the Ministry of Agriculture now has a powerful tool to educate and showcase to the local farmers the tangible benefits of hydroponics farming. Lead hydroponics technician Khalil Benjamin emphasized that this innovation is expected to improve food security and economic resilience within the agricultural sector by using less water and fertilizer while yielding higher productivity. Yeah, so today uh, we've finished the project. Uh, the two boat tunnel houses are completed and with the hydroponic system. Um, this will be a, a great benefit to the St. Lucian people, right? Uh, hydroponic, it's uh, not a new technique. It has been over here for two to three thousand years. It's a very old technology. But uh, what we did was we refined the, 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 the technique and we did it, it's called precision agriculture. Because what we're doing, we're not wasting fertilizers, right? We're not wasting fertilizers, we're not wasting water especially, right? In, in a system, like if you have a, say we have an area like as we have 32 by 100 feet, you may use about 450 gallons of water per day, right, on, on your crop. Uh, with this hydroponic system, you use that actually every three weeks, right? So, so when we go, we know we have, since we have dry periods going to, so that can be a great benefit for the farmer. So you can always have no shortage of production through that system. The two tunnel greenhouses have a combined capacity of growing over 2,600 plants, with one greenhouse supporting 1,425 plants and the other 1,200. This advancement signifies a transformative step towards modern, technology-driven farming in St. Lucia, fostering increased efficiency, sustainability, and resilience in food production. This, what we have here today, is a NFT system. So an NFT is called a nutrient film technique, which just means a thin film of water is running on the root of the plant. All right, the system is a recyclable system. So it goes from uh, 30 feet in length, and it comes back up again on a pump. Right. We also have an air stone to create oxygen for the system. So everything is in place, every parameter is in place and checked. We also have filters on the system to, in, to ensure that there's no uh, clogging or anything that happens to the system. So you, you need to maintain that as well. Right? So we have a, today we have the school kids. So we want to do an introduction with them too as well. The successful completion of this initiative highlights the strengthening of agricultural ties between St. Lucia and Guyana, showcasing regional cooperation in the adoption of advanced farming technologies. As the facility becomes operational, it is expected to serve as a model for the future of agriculture in the region, empowering local farmers with innovative techniques to enhance food production and sustainability. From the Ministry of Agriculture, Fisheries, Food Security and Rural Development, I am Zarek Felix reporting.